been a while since I dragged a cat into one of these. So here's Chip. Not terribly happy with me. I actually found Flu first, but she um she tried to hurt me. So I left her. I don't know if you noticed this. And she had something stuck to her, and we wanted to try to get it off of her, and she did not want us to try to get it off of her. So she um, protested with her claws. Now she's in the doorway keeping Chip from leaving. So, I did more sewing for John and Michaela's packages, and I can't show you what I sewed. The cats are making noise. I can't show you what I sewed because I mailed everything this morning. So that is one big project out of the way. I still have lots of thanks sewing and trade sewing to sew, but I'm going to take a break and try to get the little dinosaurs listed, and I just noticed how crooked the camera is, and so I'm sorry if this is at an annoying angle. I'm trying to get the dinosaurs. Like I said, I'm going to post them on my sewing blog, and it's probably going to be $5 for the little ones, $10 for the big ones, just flat. So, I did do other sewing, which is what going to be the bulk of this video. I got into the cloth that when I had the doll meet over a month ago um, when the person, the doll person was clearing out their stash and of course floofs in here sharpening your claws and a piece of cardboard I leave on the floor for her. Are you having fun? Floof? Move? Anyway so I was going through all that cloth and I wanted to sew some like hosiery for dolls, knit stuff. So I used one of the knits and sewed this pair of stockings for MSD. Since I was sewing for roughly MSD size for the sewing that I just sent off, I have actually had my one quarter scale doll out and without clothing. So I wanted to sew some clothes for her instead of just dress her because she doesn't have a lot of clothing. I do most of my sewing for 6th scale and for 60 centimeter, but I actually don't do much for these quarter scale-ish dolls, so... Hello, Floof. What are you doing? So I wanted to sew something else for her just to build up the stock of clothes, but so far all I've sewn is this pair of stockings and this pair of stockings. Which this print was fun. Again, this is from that same person because the print was sort of symmetrical. So by taking care for where I cut, you can see those are mirror images of each other. And on that side too. So that's a little more like real socks being mirror images of each other, if not completely symmetrical. Like this pair that I also cut from the same cloth which is completely symmetrical. I cut it right along the axis. Also along the back. Now this is for SD, so this is like ankle socks for SD sized. As like I said, I have plenty of clothes for them, but flip sharp near claws again. But you know, when the spirit moves me to sew, I might as well. And then I went back to this cloth and I sewed, actually sewed two pairs of these. This was a sort of floral stripe, so I was able to get a completely different look from the other part of the stripe. And that's in the mail. And I so used this same stuff, the same stripe, to sew this pair of leggings for Kirby using the pattern I shared a while ago. And I also sewed another pair with the other part of the stripe, which is in the mail. And these I am going to send it to someone they don't know. So put that up there. And I also, some of the cloth that I got from the Doll Person D stash was this little um, popsicle print that I initially, when I cut it out, the shirt I made from the t-shirt, I thought it would be MSD size. There wasn't quite enough for that, so I had to like, I had this other blue knit perfectly matched one of the popsicles, so I put that on the side so there's like an asymmetrical stripe on the front. And then I realized that this MSD size also actually fits Ken. So that went in the box to John too. But I did sew other t-shirts from, if you remember, I did a box opening for Alejandra months ago, who had sent a t-shirt 
So I cut into that t-shirt and got into all the details and sewed several shirts for dolls. This is not the order I sewed them in, but the smallest I sewed is this for a um, Monster High size, although I have not tried it on a Monster High. It might, might be bad enough to fit Blythe. I haven't tried it yet. And this is actually the printed label inside the shirt. So if you are picky and you look at this, you actually have the, um, the back of the knit. I think it's called the pearl instead of the knit. So it's a kind of odd texture. And then two t-shirts that are, quote, Barbie size, unquote. This details. It was fun going through this t-shirt and pulling out details that I thought would work for doll shirts. And the back is just from the back of the shirt. And I will say the way the neckline and the sleeves are finished is actually how they were finished on the shirt themselves. The shirt itself. So it's just a strip. It's actually... I mean, I physically cut this off of the shirt. A strip of knit that's pulled just enough that it curls a little bit on the edge. So I went ahead and used that. Actually, not all of the sleeves, but a lot of the sleeves are actually cut from the actual sleeve of the shirt, so this is the literal sleeve finish from that shirt. I do that with doll t-shirts. Sometimes, when I can. I just use the hem of the sleeve to be the hem of the doll sleeve, and that saves me some fiddling with knits, because these knits were all fine to sew with, but every once in a while I run into a knit that does not want me to sew it, so I always approach knits with the lazy way of sewing as few edges as possible, so I will use the ready-made edge on the shirt, which is what I used on the shirt, the popsicles. That's on its way to John. So anyway, these two Barbie size, that's in quotes, they might fit smaller male dolls like um, Ever After High type guys or Monster High guys. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. And then this is the MSD size that the popsicle shirt that I said to John was in. I thought about sending this one to John, but John's really not into skulls. And thus they're like candy colored and maybe ironic, like Monster High stuff. But in general, skulls are not John's. So. so this is, like I said, initially I used the pattern from MSD size, but this actually fits male dolls pretty well. And then the main motif of the original t-shirt I cut into a SD size t-shirt. That's this. And this this knit is so thin it actually feels like it's almost it would probably be a heavy t-shirt in scale, but it's so thin that it feels like it's in scale, and that's just so weird because usually most knits are way too heavy for dolls. Or way too synthetic. This is a cotton, so. So I made that. And I know, I mean. Of course, around here, skeletons are not just for Halloween, but today is Halloween, so I guess I could put this on a doll, but I won't. So, that was the sewing that I did that I could show you because it's still here, and then there's the sewing that's on its way. And like I said, I will hope to get to sewing again soon, but I need to, I don't need to, I want to get the dinosaurs ready. And if I put them on my own site, then hopefully it will make international shipping a little bit easier. We'll see. And short video this week. Happy Halloween. Actually, when you see this, Halloween will have been over. So I hope you had a happy Halloween. It's probably going to rain here. We'll see. All right, now I'm done. Bye.